Good morning, children. This is Namita Basnotra, and I'm here again with a new video of least common multiple. How to find LCM by the prime factorization? So let's write the first number. We uh, find the LCM of 42 and 36. So the first number is 42. You have to draw the grid like this, the way it is drawn over here, and then start solving it. So and then 36. After writing the question, in this you will be since it is a prime factorization so this prime word is very important uh, do you remember some prime numbers everyone yes you are right it is 2 or 3 is an x then 5 okay then 7 after that 11 and so on so i know that i will be taking 2 y2 because 42 is an even number and 36 is also an even number. So that means it is divisible by 2. Let me divide 42 by 2. I will get 21. Very good. You also got it. And what will be the answer here? It will be 18. Excellent. Children, if you are getting the same answer. After that, I look at the numbers. And these are not the even numbers. So I will check whether they are divisible by 3. For that, you have to add these two numbers. 2 plus 1 is 3. And here I will add, uh, I am getting 3, so that means it is divisible by 3. And now 1 plus 8 is 9, and 9 also comes in the table of 3. So that means both the numbers here are divisible by uh, 3. So my next prime number that I can take is 3. So 3, how many are 21? 3, 7 is 21. And 3, yes, tell me, 6 is 18. Now I have 7 and 6, and 7 and 6 are what children? They are co-primes. Can you see they are co-primes? So if you get co-primes in the end, I would suggest you that you stop finding LCM there itself. Okay, because they are co-primes. And now when you find the LCM, remember, let me make an L here for you. That you will be multiplying the prime factors on your left hand side and the numbers which are left as co-primes, all these together to find the LCM. So, I want you to multiply and find. Multiply and give me the answer. Come on, I'm waiting. Is it 252 children? So children, the LCM of 42 and 36 is 252. So children, let's learn how to find the LCM of three numbers. And here there is something very important that I'm going to teach you. So let's write down first the numbers here. First thing is you have to make the grid like this, the way I have made. Can you see? I'm overwriting uh, it to show it to you. So my first number is 32, comma. Second is 45, and the third one is 60. Now the LCM is least common multiple is lenient. Okay? Why it is lenient? L for lenient like if you have three numbers one two and three so one lcm is lenient it gives you a facility that you can hit just two and move on okay like in hcf we were doing all the three but here we can also take two now you would say can i take one so i would say that if you have to take only one then stop and multiply all of them okay the one on this side and the one on this side so no point wasting time if you have only uh, if you have to, uh, if you are not finding anything common in them then uh, common multiples means you should be at least using two numbers to find the common multiples so first number that i will take is two and see what is happening so i have 32 and even number here so 32 can be uh, divided it is a factor of 32 and i look at 45 where that is a not an even number so that means 45 cannot be divided so we'll see i'll teach you what to do with this and then we have the third number as 60 which is an even number and 60 can be divided by 2 so let's begin children 2 how many is are 32 yes you're right 16 and now i know that since i cannot divide 45 you will write 45 as it is and after that we will move to the third number so wherever you are not dividing that number will come down as it is and the other number will be divided they will get little smaller 
then the first one and the little smaller than the first one so now with this let me just clear the screen okay so let's continue writing so we will what are we going to write here so 60 that means 2 and half of 60 is 30 so every time you don't have to use a table you can do it half mentally and then carry on okay so 30 now let's move to the next and next is so i have your 16 then i have 45 and then i have 30 so clearly i can see that i can take the table of 5 so now i am going to bring 16 down as it is and then i will be using 5 9 are 45 and then 5 6 is 30 and why I am taking 2 here because I can clearly see there is one even number here 16 and one even number here uh, 6. So let us take 2 here and see what happens. So 2 how many is our 16? 2 8s are 16 very good. 2 table is easy everyone remembers that. So uh, 9 does not come uh, in the table of 2. So I will write 9 as it is and then we have 6. So 2 3s are 6. Now again we have 8 as left over here alone but 9 and 3 they both are coming in the table of yes 3 you are right. So that means 8 will come down as it is. We will not bother 8 but yes we will reduce 9. 3 3 is a 9 so I will put it 3 here and 3 1 is a 3. Now after this I can clearly see that these numbers are co-primes are they or they are not. So this is a time when I will be multiplying all these that you see on this side i will be taking all these numbers here on this side i'll be multiplying them and i will also be multiplying all the numbers here on this side so remember lcm also gives you that l trick what is that l trick make the l that means you have to multiply all the numbers here and all the numbers here but when you do hcf hcf is we don't have any line here so HCF means you will be only taking numbers which are on this side. So that is a L and H trick that I am teaching you. Okay. So now let's continue finding the LCM children. So the LCM is you will be first writing all the numbers here that are to be multiplied. So 2 multiplied by 5. And what is the next number? Again 2. I will write here 2. This green color is looking nice here. And after that, I will be writing 3 and then I will be writing 8. After that, I will be writing 3 and I can avoid writing 1 because if I know I will multiply by 1, I will get the same number, right? And when you find the product of these, that will be your least common multiple, multiple of 32, 45 and 60. And I am giving you uh, some time to quickly calculate and give me the answer. So I'm waiting. If your answer is 1440, that's the correct answer. Let me just tell you what does this mean, okay? When you table the, say the table of 32 and then 45 and 60. So you will go on seeing the table of 32 and you will, uh, the first number that you will get common in all these three tables will be 1440. So this is the end of the video, children. So this is Namita Basnotra. Thank you for watching the video. Bye-bye.